Hi, this is Keena Kim with PivotalDiscovery.com, and we're here at the ARMA 2010 Spring Seminar entitled The Changing Face of Communication. And Nate Walker is going to share some of his thoughts on the sessions that he heard today uh, with regard to records, IT, and uh, issues that general business employees should be cognizant of. Nathan, thanks for joining us. All right, thank you. I had a great time at this conference. I'm uh, really glad to have been able to attend, and uh, we heard some uh, great speakers today. So, you know, some of the things that uh, came out of this that uh, really struck me is that uh, th there is no off-the-shelf off turnkey solution for this. This really is um, kind of a measure of organizational maturity. It, it comes at uh, every single level. Um, there, there isn't a product for this. Um, people need to understand that, that this paradigm involves kind of a new way of thinking about problems that, that we have uh, seen before. So I think this was addressed originally with um, the first forms of electronic communication, maybe not Morse code, but um, email, BBS, uh, Telnet, and so forth. And the same types of uh, thought processes that information managers had to go through and corporations had to go through are, are the same ways that we will be approaching these uh, new problems. So um, information is, is really now, uh, it can be both an asset and a liability for the corporations. How has it changed for you being on the IT side in managing records and information with the, you know, this proliferation of social networking? Well, it, it's helped us to understand that uh, data is no longer, data are no longer in um, isolated islands completely unto themselves, that there are many more access points and people are still communicating w with uh, one another, but the way to access that data and the way that we receive those bits of communication has uh, changed. So uh, we, we need to be aware of that, but we can harness that. So, so for example, a uh, webmaster of, of the 1990s, this, this was a uh, single person. Mm -hmm. It was a person who held the keys, held control over all of the company's uh, web presence. Mm -hmm. And now today, that concept has spread across the entire organization. So IT mm -hmm. may own the delivery of it. Marcom may own the presentation. Uh, legal certainly has to be involved to make sure that they're not making any inflammatory statements or that things can, uh, that they're, they're not worried about repudiation mm -hmm. or that um, they're not making claims that uh, cannot, cannot be backed up. Um, the executives need to be aware of it as well because this, this is a new voice, it's a new way that customers are interacting with them. And, and I think in the same way, I mean, email now, the, if, if you could recall, I think it was uh, Greg's chart from the presentation mm -hmm. that um, email, again, it, it, was, it was very point to point, and you could, you could view the progress in that as, as now kind of evolving, involving everything around uh, social media, social networking. And so it does touch upon many points of the company. And so from, from top to bottom, I think we need to be aware of the power of this, of the, the concept of it, mm -hmm. and um, understand what it is. But it, it's, it's nothing that we haven't seen before in, in the thought processes. We just mm -hmm. need to be um, uh, thoughtful of how it affects ourselves, our customers, and those we deal with. Thanks so much for joining us, Nate. All right, thank you.